and welcome to Metroid Dread on the Collective. And at some point it'll tell us to push a button. Yeah. There we go. Press A. Nintendo. <laughs> Alrighty. Let's get started. Adjust brightness. Adjust the brightness until the me image on the left is barely visible. The brightness can be adjusted at any time during the game. Yeah. A is extent. Let's just have it in the middle. That way it's the normal brightness. Okay, Let's we'll do normal. Or, yep. Or we'll number one, do normal. Those are different pictures. We could do... Hmm. Dread is a real challenge. I tried it on my Metroid Dread, and it was really hard. Yeah, but you I also haven't beat even it beaten on, it. You haven't beaten it? I thought you did beat it. Or no, you beat it on hard. I beat it on Metroid hard, Dread but I... the one where you die all the time. Yeah, I... You've beaten it you, on hard. You you die in one hit, just to tell you that it's that's the way it's a real challenge. Yep. You die in one hit. Okay. You know, mm -mm -mm. Metroid, a virulent floating organism that drained energy from its prey through physical contact. Metroids were originally created by the Chozo and named after the, their word for ultimate warrior. Their value as a bioweapon sparked several crises. And as a result, all traces of them have been eliminated. They are now extinct. So, that's kind of good, but bad. X-Parasite, a gelatinous parasitic organism indigenous to the planet SR388. It can absorb the DNA of its hosts, living or dead, and replicate its form. When infected, um, infecting a living host, it could even access the host's memories. X-Parasites were driven not by emotion, but by an instinctive need to replicate and spread to increasingly stronger hosts. Their inability to be controlled marked them as an even more dangerous, or marked them as even more dangerous than their sole predator, the Metroids. Like the Metroids, like the Metroids they are believed they're extinct. Believed extinct, yeah. Yes, thank you for interrupting. I was gonna say the last part. <laughs> Same as blasting a horn ode, and then that's where Getting she gets infected. infected. And uh, so this is a recap of the beginning of fusion. Yes, what happened? And then she wakes up with the fusion suit. So we can see her power suit all being... With no Metroid getting... surviving in SR388, it became infested with the X, horrifying parasi parasites capable of imitating any living being. Unaware of this, I set foot on the planet, got infected, and almost died. I like the little NES Metroid pointing at the vaccine. <laughs> NES Metroid. <laughs> The only thing that saved me was a vaccine created from Metroid DNA, which was also left, which also left me uniquely able to oppose the X. Visibility was. was would you stop, please? I'm That's trying. That's kind of rude. Uh, this ability was tested immediately when I went to a, a biologic space laboratory's research station to investigate a distress signal. I'm trying to read the thing. Yes, but you're interrupting me reading it. Okay. There, I battled many powerful X forms, including the SAX, which was the X mimicking me and my power suit at full strength. I eventually eliminated the X menace on SR388 by setting the BSL research station on a collision course with the planet. After that, the X and Metroids were just memories, or so we thought. Just when it all seemed over, the Galactic Federation received a mysterious video transmission. showed an X, alive and in the wild. Thorough analysis proved the video was real. Although the sender was unknown, the transmission was traced to a particular planet. Why is my thing going? I don't know, are you touching it? No. I think it's just picking up some of the volume from the game. It was called ZDR. If the X had somehow escaped extinction out there, they would pose a threat to the entire galaxy. The Galactic Federation dispatched a research team of seven ME to investigate. I'm gonna fix this part that I don't like the wording. <laughs> An ME is a large research robot designed to capture field samples and extract their DNA. Their incredible mobility and protective plating made of the strongest materials in the universe practically guaranteed the mission's success. See, all they had to do was change that one word. Why would you say stuff? But not long after their arrival on ZDR, all communication was lost. 
<laughs> There's Samus in the very suit. Ow. What is happening on ZDR? Is the planet really infested with X? As the only one immune to the parasites, it's up to me to go there and find out. There's Samus's ship! We'll soon be entering ZTR's atmosphere. Are we gonna cut this thing out once it's edited? No, we're not gonna cut out a cutscene. <laughs> I don't know how it does it. How does it not seem appropriate? <laughs> that? It's way too risky for what they're paying her. When he says lady, he means. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two, one. I need to get some kind of Ooh. covers for the surround speakers. Maybe that would help it not pick up on the microphone. Of course, if I had some kind of padding on the walls, that might help too. There's Samus. All knocked out. Hmm. She's waking up. Oh. Ooh. He's like, oh, what happened? Hmm? Hmm. Eh? Whoa. Alright. That elevator leads to the depths of an underground facility. Signal quality is likely to be low. Remote communication remains is critical. Try to connect to the facility's network when you reach the bottom. That way, the can in contact. <sighs> this is what happened before she got knocked out. It's cutscene. Th yeah, this cutscene is showing what happened before what we just saw, or what you just saw, basically. Basically speaking. There's Raven Beat. I get to see him use pretty much every move that he, he uses against you. Yep. He can't spin jump, but he can, like, do that. When you fight him at the end of the game, he uses all these moves. When you do that, you pretty much shows you exactly how to fight him. Yeah. When he lights up his hand and attacks you, you counter it. But he does not do this. I mean, he does grab you by the neck, but doesn't, like, shoot you. Is he gonna shoot you? Damn it, is he gonna... Oh! I think he shot her. No. What did he do? Oh, I don't know. I don't think he did. I think he just maybe disabled her suit. Her abilities or suit. Because now she has the power suit and power beam. We don't have any abilities yet. Because this is the beginning of the game. You don't, you can't have the abilities. Alrighty. We can't go that way. Yes, I know. Let's go this way. Oh my. So, uh... <laughs> I'm gonna re-familiarize myself with the controls here real quick. Oh! So you don't have to break those blocks. You can just... Like we don't have the morph ball. Before you have the morph ball, she grabs the top of the wall if you push against it. When you have the morph ball, she'll put her hand on the bottom. And if you push more, she'll go up in it. Oh, that's right. Or if you press B while pushing on it. 
Okay, this is where we should get a clue-ish something. About... <laughs> not about the Emmy. I was about to say about the Emmy. Uploading data. Oh, you've accessed the network station. Well done, Samus. I have reviewed your vital signs and video log from the data you uploaded. Because have, have you ever known Adam to call Samus Samus? No. This I is... I analysis, but I cannot account for why you lost consciousness. My readings indicate dramatic physical changes. So he goes on, he never refers to her as lady. He never says any objections. And he always seems to kind of say that she's not strong enough for anything. So those are some good signs that we are not talking to Adam. Yes. Whatever caused these changes seems to have stripped you of most abilities. You might call it physical amnesia. But he does give her information that helps because he wants her to be strong because then he has more use for her. That brings me to your assailant. I am checking the Federation database against your video lock. It appears to have been a chosen. The attacker's identity is not yet clear. Against her video lock? Seriously? Well, yeah. Raven Beak? How else would he know? I have determined that you are somewhere within the depths of ZDR. Your top priority should be to return to your ship on the surface. This situation is precarious. Trust your instincts as you navigate upward. Okay, this Adam. Appears to consist of I mean, multiple areas, shuttles, elevators, Adam. and other modes of transport. <laughs> Connect them. Keep an eye out for ways to reach the surface. The ship's location is marked on your global map. Check it for yourself. Which we just you may pressed. encounter pockets of low temperature. Your Metroid DNA renders you vulnerable to such environments. Mm. Spending time mm. in cold areas will be harmful to you. I don't remember in Fusion, did you have to get the gravity suit before ice wouldn't hurt you? Or did you just no, need the No, that Varian? was the Varia suit. That's kind of weird. That was the Varia suit. Usually there the Varia suit protects you from heat. Scattered underground. Do not enter them with your basic power suit. One final thing. Underground interference is preventing radio transmissions. Check in with me at any network stations you find. Check in with you? Really? Yep. I mean, he knows her as Samus, not as Lady. Because calling her Samus, not saying any objections. Yes, we've covered that. Stuff. Just gives you a clue about what about who you're talking to. Who you're really talking yeah. to. You can get on the legend jet. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that was a mistake. showing you how to know when there's secret stuff. An area, if an area it. On the, there you go. Go for it. If the area if an area is on the map if an area on the map is blinking, it indicates that a hidden item is there. So we're gonna destroy that. There's the hidden item. Yay. Missile tank acquired. Missile capacity capacity. Capacity. Capacity increased by two. Usually I thought I would increase by wee, five. Wee, 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 wee. wee. Oh, here we go. Ah! 